Hello, this is Coffee Break with Ninita, a daily guide of coping skills that gets us through by making us strong. If you recall, what we cover on Monday is the importance of following essentials in our lives. And when I'm saying following, I mean making sure that if possibly daily, we meet what we consider essential. Now, we can fall into the trap and making everything we do belonging into the list of essentials. That is what a lot of times we do and causes us to fail our goal. It should be no more than three essentials we must keep. And why that is? Because we feel anchored. We feel that if we meet these essentials, they can help us anchor so that we are able to face life on life's terms or overcome the challenges and the adversities and stay focused on our goal and not on, get it, on what gets in the way. So the essential, so to speak, keeps us set and in a form of order so that it can help us not get distracted or lose our balance when things in life that were either unpleasant or unexpected, just unexpected, come our way. So we said, a couple of essentials. For some people, essentials might mean making a prayer and going for a walk. That is probably what is that they need to keep daily so that anything else can find them being whole, not half. And you remember what whole and half is in stay whole. Whole means warm, honest, happy, open, loving, and empowering. And half is hurting, angry, lonely, and frustrated. Some people add one more they also make the essential to be every night all together having dinners and having discussions with the people in the family this way sustaining the relationship that might be getting strained by the many activities and responsibilities that each individual in the family holds. So on Wednesday, we went to the next point where we talked about the difference between real and ideal. And sometimes we consider ideal as being the good one the one that we should have in our lives, and real seems to be the bad one. Today, we're going to see how we can make the real one the happy one. Remember, life brings things that get us off what we plan what we project by the different experiences that come our way that were not planned and 
often those unplanned experiences, events, bring along chaos only if they don't find us anchored. Remember, it is like a boat in the sea. As long as it is well anchored, the waves will move it up and down, but they will not take it down. The same way the essentials are functioning like anchors that help us stay in place when life tries to push us and take us to chaos. In relationships, for example, in a perfect world, the spouses will compromise always and the wife will understand and support what the husband's goals are and the husband will understand and support what the wife's goals are and needs. In real life, even though both parties might have the same goal, just what I described, events occur that either cause mental or emotional draining. Why is that important? Because then the words and the behaviors flow not like water, but like fuel. Water flows just like fuel, but the one cools the other person down, calms down, refreshes the other person, while the fuel ignites fire. That is exactly what happens very often in relationships. Even though we have all the willingness in the world and motivation to have peace and love in the family, among spouses, between parents and children, often, very often, we see ourselves being so far from what I just said. If we understand that real is not ideal, rather I should say ideal is not real, but we can convert ideal, I mean real, to ideal, when we follow the suggestion of having essentials, following our our essentials, keeping our essentials, and through our essentials being anchored. And by being anchored, we are ready and prepared with energy to deal with what life brings. We might be moved a little, like a wave moves the boat, but we will not sink in what life brings. Our relationship will not sink in what life brings, just because we are fried, tired, overwhelmed, and stressed. Following the essentials we put have the ability to empower us and very often enlighten us. So try it. It might work for you too, as it works for many people that have tried it.
We thank you for listening to Coffee Break with Nanita. Our goal is to help our stay whole community work through their challenges. Please join this cause by supporting us on Patreon. You can do that for the price of just one cup of coffee per month. Just click on the Patreon link in the podcast description below or simply visit us at www.patreon.com forward slash stay whole. We appreciate you and hope we can help you stay whole.